concept. Why would they? What would be the 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 impetus for them to you know cover something up or negate something that you know? Because science is science, you know. Exactly. So that's where the creepy music plays. Because what is what what was the motivation to to disavow this as a hoax? Uh, you know. It, it, it's one thing to call it a hoax, but then why won't they let the bodies travel outside of the country for a study in, 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 in the U.S. labs? Especially in the recent years, I believe it was like four years ago, didn't our government come out and say that there are unidentified flying right. objects? The disclosure and, project, yeah. sure. And that's something, you know, he's... He's all yeah, open. I mean, we had congressional hearings last year um, on UFOs. You had mm -hmm. David Grush testify in front of Congress that this is real, that we have alien materiel in our possession that's being reverse engineered. He indicated people have been murdered to keep this a secret. Um, you know, you'd think that more people would be paying attention. And, and but look it around every day. Every but day it doesn't make story. sense to me. I want to know why. So, so the other the other question is if if it. If, if they're gonna call it a hoax, or, or so if they call it a hoax, why won't they let the bodies leave? But if they're, if, if the science is in and, and, and they acknowledge it, why won't they deem these things cultural artifacts? You know, it's, talk about my Well, you're answering my question with a question. Well, it's a- Yeah, you know, it's, what the fuck is it, that it, all? It's, <laughs> it's, it's left open to interpretation because we still don't know. Well, do you have a theory? Like I, in that video that I just showed at the beginning, which is uh, Peru, negating the reality of these. Yeah. I saw what you spoke of, the dolls that were dressed. That's not what you're speaking of. Why would they, what's the impetus for them to show you a doll or to fake right. a doll? So, so it's a really good question. So we actually tracked down the guy who made those dolls. His name is Manuel. And he lives in a town called Palpa, which is next to Nazca. That's actually where the mummies were found. They're the Palpa mummies, but no one's heard of Palpa, so everyone calls them Nazca. Yeah, and he wanted to- has heard of Nazca. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So he wanted to put Palpa on the map, so he made these souvenirs to sell the tourists. And then the Ministry of Culture confiscated these dolls at the airport, and he told them, he said, no, 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 these are works of Wait, art that I made. can I pause for one second? Yeah. They have a Ministry of Dolls in Peru? Is that what I said? No. no. Okay. I thought that's what he said. Culture. No. Ministry culture. of culture. culture. No, he if, can't hear culture. If you roll it back, I swear culture. he said the Ministry of Dolls. Okay, well, I meant to say the Ministry of Culture. <laughs> that makes much more so sense. The ministry Thank of, you. So the Ministry of Culture confiscated these at the airport. And he said, no, 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 these are works of art that I made. These are, you know, these are not the real things. They ignored that. Then they said that they did DNA testing and forensic examination on the dolls and that it's all fake. That, that I'm not a mind reader. I don't know why they're doing that, but I've been investigating UFOs for a long time and I've come up across, uh, I've come up against a lot of cognitive dissonance. You know, I've had a lot of conversations with skeptics respectfully and I say, okay, hypothetically, what would convince you? What if hypothetically, a bunch of military intelligence and aviation officials held a press conference in Washington, D.C. and admitted to participating in a UFO cover-up. What if, hypothetically, an astronaut who walked on the moon came forward and said, it's all real, we're covering it up, and we're in possession of dead alien bodies? What if, hypothetically, the CIA published thousands of documents on their own website outlining the whole thing. Would that convince you? And invariably the skeptic says, sure, if that happened, yeah, that would convince me. And I say, great, because all those things have happened. Let me show you. Uh -huh. And the skeptic always says, oh, well, that doesn't mean anything. So clearly it's not about But evidence. why isn't it big news and evidence of each of those things? Like, why isn't that, why isn't that as viral as uh, anything Taylor Swift does? It's a really well, good question. In, in the case of- You can't dance to it, first of all. Okay. Great point. Uh, <laughs> it, 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 in the case of the original press conference, right, or the presentation to the Mexican Senate, um, that that was viral. I mean, it, it became the number one trending topic on Twitter and like instantly, and it really woke up a lot of people to the the possibility that this was happening, right? But then, but then there was this hoax deployed from presumably the Ministry of Culture in Peru with these fake bodies that then threw everybody off the scent of the real ones. And, and, and you know, we're, we're not here to cast aspersions or, or, or you know, denigrate um, a, a culture, but certainly from a media standpoint, the global media jumped all over the hoax to offset the possibility of people's interest in, in the real story and actually 
that that lives to this day. If you go Google like Peru aliens, all you see is they're a hoax, they're a hoax, they're a hoax, they're a hoax. And those are and, those, and every single one of those stories is wrong. They, they need to be redacted and, and fixed. And that's actually part of our mission with this with this immersive activation is to bring it to the public, show them the science in a in an so just to way. show you what they were talking about. Just there's a clip of one because I did that, and the you, first yeah. thing that popped up was this. This, what, this is- Don't show uh, a prolapse. No, no, no. Scientists <laughs> have it. confirmed supposed alien mummies are in fact dolls made from bones. The dolls were originally seized in the capital Lima in October last year. Scientists say there is no truth to the theory aliens helped build ancient Incan landmarks like Machu Picchu, calling the ideas fairy tales. So, okay, so that's Peruvian. Sky News. But let me just say, so I'm just being the devil's advocate here. Um, the, the, would it not behoove an international news company to do research or to, like there's a million of these saying that it's debunked? Yeah, yeah. because it was an AP Newswire story and they needed filler for that day, but they, they were also all too happy to listen because it was coming out of Peru where the bodies originated from, right? So, so, so they, they even set this up to where they were trying to mail them to a Mexican address so that they knew they would be confiscated, these fake ones. And, and it, you know, it, as far as hoaxes or clapbacks go, it was or, exquisitely orchestrated. But, but the theory is that because uh, Mexico was getting the shine and debuting these bodies to the world, there were people within, you know, high level positions in, in the government who, 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 who wanted to see uh, that, that washed away.